Okay guys, going to do a stock market update. I know this is not really good day trading music. Nice and slow. Here you go. Who is this? Sarah. There you go. Okay, let's look at Twitter. Remember, I've been trading TWTR. So let me show you how it's followed out. This is actually a very important day. Um, this is, uh, let me just show it to you. Remember, I'm an Elliott Wave day trader. And so I really, really focus on um, the minutia of Elliott Wave, which is a Fibonacci-based fractal math economic theory. Or if you want to just be sexy and short, it's called wave theory. Now, this is a very important pattern. Let me turn off the lights and you can see it. This is a very, very important pattern. Now, um, a lot of times people who've heard this, or I've said it many times, that that is the 5C. That's a complete 5C. That's a little microscopic 5C. Again, this is TWTR. Um, for those people who don't care about day trading, you just want to know like a stock market update, uh, Twitter closed up nine cents to 16.50, okay, 16.50. So that's for those people who just don't care. They're like, okay, it went up, it's great. No, it's not. I personally believe that your shorts are still good. Like you, and what I mean by that is you can make money with a long position when you buy low, sell high. You can also short a stock where, you're, where you sell it and then you buy it later. It's kind of weird, but you can short a stock when it goes down and sometimes and often you can make more money quicker by shorting a stock than going long. So I like, I like shorting stocks for various reasons, but this is the pattern to look at. Notice how it went boom, stable, boom. Check that out. You want some music? Okay, you're like, you're getting real complicated, dude. We should stop talking about all that stuff. Boom, stable, boom, and count them. Okay. Here we go. See that? I promise y'all have better music next time. Okay, see the boom, stable, boom? Now this is a five minute chart. See boom, stable, boom, and then it's stabilized. And then here is a motive move. And I can count that later. I've counted it in other, uh, in other videos. Notice how there's an up, down, up, down. Now that is Elliott Wave. Notice how, in this case, the stock went down here, then went up, and then it went down. So the market is full of ups and downs. In fact, the one wave is an up, up move. Uh, the two wave and the fourth wave are generally retracement modes or moves. So if we go to today's Twitter, TWTR, it looks like this. Here you go. Again, I trade and I watch, off, uh, I watch my trades off a five-minute chart. So we can kind of go in here and you're like, all right, what's it going to do, dude? Here you go. Let's look at it. I'm going to zoom in to a two-minute chart. Two-minute. Now, this is a three-day two-minute. So that means each tick is worth two minutes. So we are looking microscopically at Twitter, which, by the way, closed up $0.09 cents to $16.50. If you kind of zoom in a little closer, you see a classic Elliott wave. However, look at that. This is why you want to pay me to be your day trading coach or your teacher is because you have to learn how to count the Elliott waves. And sometimes the five minute chart will disguise things that the two minute chart will have. And that's why you just simply have to have the patience and the endurance to watch the markets. Now, when you see this right here, this little move here, to me, that is indicative of a further short, a further short, or let me say that more succinctly. This single candle right here, only seen, see that right here? Only seen on a two-minute chart is indicative of a down move for tomorrow. Now, the down move may come in the overnight, and it may bounce up. It may do two or three cents tomorrow. I don't know. But if I were you, I would either be all cash or I would short tomorrow's position, okay? And really, really, really watch your overnights. In fact, that's a whole different discussion. Remember, I can teach Elliott Wave in 30 minutes, but learning how to trade on Elliott Wave may take you a year. 
And I often use the example of like, it's like learning how to play the guitar. You're not going to play the guitar really well for six months. Well, trading's the same way. So if you hire me as a coach and let me come trade with you, it's going to be very expensive, but it's going to be better than losing your shirt uh, in the market because I've just have, I've had n- enough experience. So there, anyway, there's TWTR. If you would like to talk to me about some private consultations or if you have a specific Elliott Wave question, drop me some PayPal, drop me a hundred bucks. Remember, I only will reply, reply individually if you pay me a hundred bucks uh, on Elliott Wave or if you want to do some private consulting, I'll be happy to do that. Um, this is Twitter, TWTR. Be very careful with it. Let me close out and look at it on a daily chart so you can see the difference between a two-minute Twitter chart. Now we're in the overnight. And then this is what it looks like on a daily. See that? This is the daily chart. Notice how it's strengthening, but I don't think that strengthening... um, is is indicative of a long position. But that's Fibonacci. You guys be good. Email me, email me with your questions. Americano417 at gmail.com. Man, you don't have to applaud. It wasn't that good. I was just talking about trading. Peace out, guys. You guys be great. Awesome. Thank you. Seriously, I was just talking about how the fourth wave, when it, when it broaches the two wave, then we know that's indicative of what? Guys, don't clap. It's just day tra- Oh, they're... There you go. You guys be good. Email me, Americana417 at gmail.com. Share this content. Follow me at Fibonacci. Thank you. We did it. We did it.